Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to continue our discussion about supply. So you can um, find the intro to supply by clicking above right now. This is the next step. And in this video, we're going to look at what are the factors that affect the level of supply? What are the factors that will increase or decrease the level of supply by firm? So we're going to look at five factors in this video. The five factors we're going to look at are expectations of future prices, the prices of other goods and services, technological innovations, changes in the cost of production inputs, also known as the factors of production or resources, and climatic and seasonal influences. Um, these are not the only factors that will affect supply. These are sort of some of the more important factors. And if you're cluey about these, you can usually get through most examples and provide a detailed level of explanation in terms of your essays and exam responses. So these are five good ones to have under your belt. So factor number one is firms expectations of future prices. So Picture yourself, you're running a company and you're looking into the future and you're thinking about what is going to happen to the price of the good or service I produce. If you think about it, generally prices might go up in the future or prices might fall. Yeah, they could stay that same, but it's not as exciting for our purposes. And you look into the future and you're like, oh, I think prices are going to go up. I expect that the price of our good or service will go up. Well, then you're going to increase supply. You're going to start making more now so that in the future, you're ready to um, make more revenue when you think that the price will go up. If on the other hand, you think actually in the future price is going to go down, what you might do now is you might produce less. You might decrease supply because you know that or you expect that in the future, your good or service will earn uh, a lower price, you will earn lower revenue, and it won't be as exciting to produce this product. And also just think about it, that a firm can't just suddenly produce more. It takes time to turn the raw materials into the finished product. If I expect something will happen in the future, more than likely I have to act now to take advantage of that in the future. So our second factor that affects the level of supply by firms is the price of other goods and services. So let's imagine that a company produces staples and paper clips. If the company expects that the price of staples will go up relative to paper clips, then the firm will increase supply of staples. It won't focus on paper clips as much. So what we're saying is that the price of other goods and services will affect supply. Uh, whatever good or service has the best expectations for higher prices in the future, that's where firms will increase supply. Where prices aren't so exciting, that's where the firm will decrease supply. Okay, so our third factor is technological innovation. So this is sort of an improvement in technology. And the way we think about this is that if technology gets better, then it will allow firms to produce more, more quickly and often more cheaply. So if a firm can uh, access the latest technology and improve the way it does things, more than likely it can produce at a lower cost and so it will increase supply of the goods and services that it makes. The better the technology, the greater the innovation, the lower the cost of production and the increase in supply. So our fourth factor, fourth, number four, fourth factor is the cost of inputs uh, to the business. Inputs are things that are quite literally put in, input, put in, put into the production process to turn raw materials into finished products. So when we talk about inputs into production, we're thinking about things like land, labor, capital, and enterprise. For our purposes, let's just say focus on, I don't know, labor. If the cost of those workers goes up, if wages rise in an economy, then that firm's costs of production will go up 
and it will reduce supply. Supply will decrease because production is more expensive and a firm can't always just increase the price. So our final factor that we're looking at are climatic and seasonal influences. So this is kind of like where the weather and the environment changes and that affects production. One way to think about this is say that there's a drought that takes place across Australia that makes it much harder to grow crops and that you know those crops are used as inputs by other firms to produce their goods and services. So if the weather, if seasonal factors turn bad and there is a less output in different industries, then that will force other firms to reduce supply because they can't get those inputs into production. So that if we've got positive um, seasonal and climatic influences, if there's plenty of rain, the crops are growing really well, if the temperature is just right, then that will allow firms to increase production because all those inputs are being produced in relatively high volume and are then available to other firms to take on board, to turn into finished products and services, and then to increase supply for consumers. Okay, so those are five factors that affect supply by firms. What we'll move on to in the next video is having a look at what happens when those factors change to the actual supply curve. What happens when uh, there's an increase in supply or a decrease in supply due to the factors we've talked about. So, and as I said in the intro, yes, there are other factors, but these five are very relevant, very useful as examples and will help you in terms of your economic study. Okay, if you need to clarify anything, any comments, any questions, put them in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching.